Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading for November 20th through November 26th. This is intended to be a weekly love reading. Now, this is not a private reading, so it may not be for you, okay? This is for a general audience. It's not a private reading. This is for the sign of Libra. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. And I will zoom it in when the cards are laid out correctly. I'll just check it to make sure that it's zoomed in correctly. Okay, so there, there's, uh, what I see right off the bat is some of you are feeling lost, okay? You're feeling lost, you're suffering, you're hurt, you know, you're feeling lost, you're hurt, you're suffering, um, you're still grieving, you're still grieving over something. Perhaps you haven't been receiving communication, um, you have, maybe you're feeling like a victim, um, it feels like you've put a lot of work into something and it's just not paying off. Things aren't happening the way you'd hoped. Um, you know, there's insecurity here. I feel like, you know, many of you are going through a period of recuperation, okay, over after a loss. I mean, there's been a loss where many of you are feeling almost dead inside, okay, like, Something really difficult has happened, and you really need to refocus, okay? You need to bring your vibrancy back, all right? It feels like you, some of you have lost your shine, okay? And it's time to bring it back. It's time to look at things from a new perspective, really look at things. I see that you have some self-doubt, you know? You are doubting yourself. You're thinking, you're blaming yourself for things when you don't need to be. Okay, what's meant to be will be. All right, so so believe that what's meant to be will be will be. I see that there is an obsession here. Okay, we have this four of pentacles again. There's an obsession, and this is and then there's money. Okay, so it's very similar to the last reading that I did for you guys. There's a lot of money focus here. Money, 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 money. So there's a lot of focus on your finances, you know, and, you know, how, how, um, how you dispense your money, okay? So that just, I see there's a lot of focus on that, and I see that you need to refocus, because that's when this, the, when the Queen of Wands comes out, it's about focusing. So I feel like many of you have, have really just focused on your career, perhaps your, your love, you know, your feelings of love, you're feeling lost, like, I don't think I can ever love again, okay? There's not any cups at all here, none. And this card came out reversed, but I flipped it. In my private readings, I do reversals, so I don't do them in my generals because I don't need to, all right? So this did come out reversed. I could just flip it right now, but then I would just have... I'm thinking about doing reversals for my generals. I really am, but... I like to keep it this way for some reason. I am a Taurus and I am very consistent. <laughs> so it's something I need to work on. But anyway, there's no love. There's no love coming in because of your feeling lost, your grief, all right? Feeling dead inside. You're not over the past, all right? I see the depression and everybody else does too, okay? Everybody else can see your depression. So remember that. 
I see this obsession. It feels like you've buried yourself in your work. And you're holding on. I see that you're holding on to something that you no longer serves you. All right? You are. You are. That's all there is to it. It's time for you to bring your shine back. It's time for you to let go. Your self-confidence, your self-worth, your vibrancy, your beauty. It's time to bring it back. Replace your doubt with positive, okay? Replace your doubt with self-worth and self-confidence and self-respect. Do it. It's time to go down a different road with this Two of Wands. It's time to go down a different road. It's time for you to take a practical approach. It's time for you to remove your insecurities and stop feeling like a victim, okay? If it's meant to be, it will be, okay? This is the moon card. There's hidden forces. There's a reason why things don't work out. There is. Believe it. There is a reason why things don't work out. There's not equal give and take here. There's not. There needs to be. There needs to be equal give and take. And I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody hasn't been giving their share, their fair share. Okay? They haven't. And you are feeling lost. And you definitely need to refocus. Okay? You need to refocus with this Queen of Wands. It's time to be proud of who you are. Okay? Take the lead. Show the world how passionate you are. Bring your passion back. Replace your doubt and fear of who you are, of your actions, with confidence, with self-worth. Honor your journey. Let go of the need to resist change. You're resisting change. You're resisting change. And because you're doing that, new love can't come in. It can't. You have to be open to change. When you release the need to hold on, because this is the Four of Pentacles, when you really let go, that's when this new security and this new stability and this new love comes in. Right now, many of you are going through a period of recuperating after a loss, you know, a, a hurt a relationship that didn't work out, okay? There's a, still grieving. There's grieving here. Somebody is grieving quite heavily, okay? But there are hidden forces Everything happens for a reason. All right? I'm going to start shuffling the next deck. One door has closed. Okay? A door has closed. And some of you aren't quite over that yet. Time to nurture yourself, okay? You better start nurturing yourself. Because if you don't nurture yourself, then you can't expect somebody else to do it for you, okay? And I, I need to say this to you guys because I think it's pretty prominent. Your soul is whole, all right? Your soul is whole. Nurture yourself. I'm going to let these ones come out reversed if they come out reversed. And that's what I've been doing with my private readings. I've been letting the first, the first ones I've been flipping and the next of ones I've been doing the reversals because...
the only one that came out reversed, the Knight of Swords. There's unnecessary drama here. There is. There's an unnecessary drama and you're not moving away from it. You're not. You're not moving away from it. You're just holding on with her dear life. You're not listening. You're not listening. It's really time. It's time for you to listen. I see that you want this love. You really do. You really, really want it. You want this love, you want this commitment, but you're bleeding, you're bleeding, and you cannot let it go. <coughs> and you're growing weary, you're growing weary. This is a fight. You're never going to win. It's not even a fight. You're fighting it for no reason. None. It's never going, you're never going to win it. This guy can fly away on his dragon. He's, these, these people that are down here, this is the seven of wands. He's, he's above them. And he, he's, he's fighting for no reason. It's not going to happen. Let it go. That hurts. I know it does. It's really time for you to listen to your inner guide. It is, listen, listen, seriously. Okay? For some of you, new love wants to come in. There's a reason. See this hidden forces that I was telling you about? There's something going on behind the scenes. What's meant to be is meant to be. There's somebody else for you. For those of you that are grieving, I see big time grieving here. For those of you that are grieving over a past relationship, that is over for a reason with the moon because there's another love for you. There is another love that will be committed to you. But you're, you're hurt and you're resisting change, resisting letting go. This card was reversed. And from now on, I think I will do reverse. My next segment, I will let the reversals come out. But I'm going to finish this, this weekly segment like this. But anyway, the love is not going to come in. This new love is not going to come in until you let go. Until you let go of the past hurt. You must. You must surrender for this lover's card to flip. We are going to get you one of these. That's a C. That sums up the whole reading. That sums up the whole reading right there. <laughs> you think it's you. That's the problem. You have this doubt and that you did something wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Okay? It wasn't meant to be. You deserve love. You are lovable. Perfect timing. You deserve love. We just talked about that. You are lovable. Maybe you have to tell yourself that every day, each morning for the next seven days. I am lovable. I am lovable. I am lovable. I am lovable. Perfect timing. Now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open. 
while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate all as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by, our so by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate. Don't delay or procrastinate. I am lovable. Stop delaying. Stop procrastinating. It is making you sick. Okay? It is. There's no need for it. So Libra, this is what I have for this week. November 20th through November 26th. If you want to know more about me, you can watch my Let's Talks or my welcome video or join my group or whatever. And I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving.